Welcome back everyone into some more world of tanks and um yeah this is this is not a an April Fool's video. It is actually the Lorraine 15551, which is statistically a, one of the best steered vehicles. Um texture vehicles of course at the moment. It is actually second in win rate, only behind the Kilana, which just recently released, so I mean it is going to be secured towards it. Um, and second in win rate differential, only behind the GW Tiger P. So, I, I, I don't know if it's a bug on Tomato GG or if artillery are actually making a comeback right now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it seems like the vehicles that you win with the most at tier rate, the tunnel premiums, of course, I mean, not BZ176s, even 90s, all of those completely broken vehicles. But the tech tree vehicles are actually winning the most at the moment are actually artillery. So uh, I, I guess we, we will be showing the best tier rate tech tree tank today, which is the Lorraine 15551, <laughs> played by Demis over here, um, shooting a lot of the stun rounds, as you should. I mean, the stun is kind of like the trademark of the new artillery after the... Um, the artillery changes that happened. So, 15551, what does it have? 680 pen penetration, 680 <laughs> damage if you penetrate, is what I meant to say. 45 millimeters of penetration, um, 12 to 27 seconds of stun time, 7.6 meter damage radius on the stun shells. Then you have AP rounds with 460 alpha damage and 268 millimeters of penetration. So if you do want to troll a bit, you can go with some AP rounds and try to go for some pens. You also have damage rounds, which do not do stun. They do 830 damage and 56 millimeters of penetration. Um, so Dimis is going to be using a gun rammer. Going to be going with a gun length drive to help with the, uh, the aim time bit. Rotation to just improve accuracy, rotation speeds, all of that stuff. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this is this is kind of like arty gameplay, you know? You go into your position, you sit, you wait, you look, you try to support your allies where you can. This is how you should be playing artillery. I mean, uh, there are a lot of people out there who just don't really try to support their allies and don't play artillery as it is meant to be played. But there we go. Seeing the levers pushing forwards, trying to support that area, going after the 50 TP, doing 147 damage, stunning that vehicle, which is going to just make it so much more worse than it is. You know, we'll have everything basically work slower. Um, with a stun over there. They go trying to catch this T-43 as well. Maybe, possibly, hopefully, SMV next. Can we pen the SMV? No, 200 damage though is always nice. And the SMV repairs the stun over here. And that means the SMV doesn't have a first aid kit for 90 seconds, which is also something artillery need to do. They need to support their allies. Like, I can't stress that enough. You need to be. You need to shoot people that are shooting your allies. Or people that your allies are shooting, right? You can't just shoot whoever whenever because it suits you. Your job is to be the support of your team. The fact that you're sitting at the back does not mean that, I mean, you shouldn't do anything, right? As you can see, Dim is doing over here. He sees the 7032 needs help. He sees the Lerva needing help. He's going to shoot them over there. And that is exactly what you need to do. Go after the enemies that are actually a threat to your allies. Unfortunately, that one missed. Didn't hit that 50 GP, but did get the stun. So you don't need a hit to actually get a stun going. You just need to splash around them. And that is going to make them a lot worse uh, than they were. Like I said, that stun is so annoying. That's my, my least favorite thing about artillery. But that's because I just hate stun in, in anything. If it's, uh, if it's a shooter, if it's some sort of, I don't know, any sort of game where your character, vehicle or whatever you're controlling can get stunned, I just very much dislike it. I'd much rather have the old artillery, which just did one shots to, to nightly armored vehicles. But I know I'm kind of like in the uh, in the minority over here, 
with that opinion. Is that going to hit? Okay, that actually hit the MXM 445, which is very surprising. That didn't seem like it was going to uh, to go through because of the awful shell velocity. But when it's so close, I guess you don't need to lead too much. Uh, but I actually think most people do like artillery better post changes. Um, they'd much rather be stunned than get one shot, at least according to... Uh, to the lovely people in the chat on the Twitch streams, we actually had a conversation about that um, last week, if I'm not mistaken. And most people actually preferred to have the current version of artillery that do stun and do less damage than the previous version of artillery that did a lot more damage, but did not stun. Um, of course, they're going to be the people who say artillery shouldn't be in the game and all of that. I completely disagree. Artillery are there to break stalemates, which are happening very often. They're very much needed inside the game. Um, and I think removing artillery is going to be like the worst mistake that Wargaming can make in this game. But Dimis, so far with 1.5k damage, a lot of stunning, but not a lot of stunning damage. So what is stun damage? That means that if, there we go, get their 15 seconds on the 7032. That means that if someone shoots the 7032 while he is still stunned with Dimis's uh, shot, it will get kind of like... Uh, sporting damage for stun. Pretty much, that is uh, that is what it means. Uh, but yeah. But yes, that is not going to be enough in this game. Need to do damage as well. Down by 1,358 HP. And even in vehicles. Unfortunately, not even anymore with the MXM 445 shutting down the Juto over there. And now it's a tier 7 heavy with a tier 8 heavy. Pushing towards the Shuramil and towards Dimis over here. Can we catch a 7032? Maybe. Possibly. Hopefully. Probably. No. And Dimis decides to actually run away, which is the correct choice. This vehicle is actually really fast, the Ren 15551, which is why I guess it has such a high win rate, because you can relocate. You can make those uh, changes when you need to. If you have 60 kilometers an hour top speed, you have very high power to weight ratio 26. If I'm not mistaken, something around those areas, which is insane for an artillery. And also decent enough terrain resistances to be able to reach that top speed, to be able to maintain the top speed um, on all terrains, except for soft terrain, of course. So, let's, can we get a shot into the Amex? No, I'm going to have the 50 TP instead, maybe. I can't find the shots, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, 15551, extremely fast. I mean, that's kind of like the trademark of... Those French artillery, extremely fast. Um, fast firing as well, but they don't really do a lot of damage. They're more like stun vehicles, as you can see, 147 damage is definitely not a lot to the Caliban. Um, but when you stun for... When you have such a good reload, right, and then you can stun again and again and again, you're basically having a 50% crew type of vehicle on the enemy team if you decide to focus down one of their vehicles. And that is what I believe you should be doing in your artillery. Just try to stun, just try to support your teammates, like I said. Shoot the people who your teammates are shooting. Or being shot at by uh, the enemy, right? Try to help your teammates just win the battle. Can we actually pen the super helicopter? It's a very lightly armed vehicle. Oh, that is juicy. That is very juicy. Super helicopter, very, very weakly armored tank and 570 damage done to that tier 7 tank destroyer absolutely lovely stuff over here but it's still not looking good down by three vehicles down by 1500 hp can we catch this 50 tp we do need chunky hit unfortunately misses the 50 tp doing no damage but luckily the Sturmiel gets the shot in and as you can see we got some stun damage because we did stun that 50 TP we did. I mean, I'm not playing. It's Dimmers who actually got the stun damage. I always like to kind of join them in the game. Kind of, I want a piece of the action as well. Um, so that happens quite often. But there we go. Whew. Three vehicles on the Allied side against five vehicles on the enemy team. Ten stun shells remaining. Two AP. One damage HE shell. 203 HP 703. Can we catch this very dangerous tier rate? Russian double barrel heavy. Maybe. Yes. Yes, we actually catch the 703 to over here and do enough damage to shut them down. 
Whew, this is good. This is looking good. better now, right? But there's still Caliban, which can one-shot the Suramil, which can one-shot the Hotchkiss, and of course can one-shot Dimis and the Lorraine. The Hotchkiss unfortunately gets shut down by the MX M445. Caliban, don't hit, don't hit the Suramil. There we go. Actually hit the Suramil for 782 damage, which is crazy. But we shut down the Caliban, and now it is a 1v3 over here. My goodness. 1v3 with artillery on 4 kills. Can Dimis actually get this win? It, it still looks like a full health GC 1008, but he was outside of the, uh, the render range, so we don't know. And the cap goes off. And the cap goes off. Dimis actually switching to AP over here. There's the GC was actually wanted if we can pen the AP round. Can we do shotgunning the GC in the face? My goodness, that was, that was risky. Actually, not getting spotted. What? What? Well, the AP does have a lot of pen, 268 millimeters of penetration is definitely enough to go through. The G1000 but the MSM 445 is pushing forwards as well. My goodness. My goodness, maybe switch to an HE round. That MSM 445 can actually bounce with a turret. You don't want that. You do want to just shut him down. Do you have intuition? Actually, does have intuition switching to the damaging rounds. They don't have splash. That means a direct hit is needed. Can we actually get the hit? <laughs> a shotgun. Hit into the face of the Amex once again. That is crazy. 1v1 with the Leo. Who is on? How much do we still have? Oh, we cannot see. We cannot see exactly. We don't have the HP. Oh, we can see in the top. 457. Okay. Whew. Relax, Spearfish. Stay calm. 460. Average damage should be enough to one-shot the Leo unless we get a low roll but there is the one-shot curse to worry about every time there's a one-shot vehicle I low roll and then I can't get them can Dimis actually get the kill on the Leo the Leo misses hitting the building go forwards 14 seconds left on the cap circle he can't miss this one ram kill oh my goodness he actually got the ram kill over here it did low roll for 407 oh my goodness that was crazy that was just crazy. He actually got a low roll with the AP 407 instead of the usual 460, leaving the Leo on 50 HP. But with enough speed, with enough momentum, with the, I guess, enough chunkiness of this vehicle, which weighs at 34 um, tons, that was enough to finish off the Leo inside the cab circle, do 50 ramming damage, taking only 33 in return, so that was rather surprising. But yeah, that was, that was a scary one. Whew, that was a scary one, but we got the win. Demis got the win. GG well played, 3.5k damage, 600 stun damage, and 7 kills. Which is just like, something you don't really see too often with artillery. They don't really get a lot of kills. Uh, but Demis did. Go to the last 3 kills, 1v3, almost a Kolobanovs with an artillery, which is crazy. And yeah, the best tier 8 vehicle inside World of Tanks at the moment. Tech Tree vehicle, of course, at the moment. The 15551. Second highest win rate. Second highest win rate differential. And I guess, I guess this is why. Just such an amazing support vehicle. Having this vehicle on your team, playing correctly, supporting the right people in the right areas will just be extremely deadly not because of the damage it's not because this vehicle does a lot of damage even though 3.5k is definitely an impressive amount of damage done over here probably even more with some blind shots but it's not because of that it's because of the amount of shots that you can actually shoot it has a fast reload it can relocate into better positions with the speed and then it just stuns everything and by stunning everything you actually give your allies a higher chance of defeating the person they are fighting. So Dimis just did that to perfection, helping the hill, and just being shooting wherever was needed. Right, the super helicopter trying to push the south, shooting them as well. And yeah, just an amazing game with the best tier rate uh, tank tree vehicle. How, how is that a thing? I don't know. This is too weird. Anyway, let's go and check out the post-game stats real quick. There we go. Easy Ace Tanker for the 1,275 XP earned over here. Actually second on the team behind the Hotchkiss EBR. Um, getting 3.7k damage. I guess only the 703 to blind shot did connect. 7 kills. A Gauze Medal 
for causing damage exceeding 10 times the hit points of your vehicle. I think it's actually 8 times, and 10 times was uh, the previous version of the Gauze Medal. So, um, Wargaming, what replays? Please and thank you. I mean, do I, do I need... Uh, to... Yes, yes. So, 8 times the hit points of your vehicle, not 10, as, uh, as is being said over here. A Defender Medal for... The 90 defense points, a high caliber for 3.7k damage with artillery. Absolutely crazy stuff these days. Artillery not really built to do a lot of damage. They're more like support vehicles, like I said in the video itself. So it's always nice to see uh, an artillery getting a high caliber. I guess shows that you had a really, really good match. Um, seven kills, so that means you get a top gun as well for six kills at least. Uh, there we go. As you can see, second on XP, first on damage, first on kills, lovely stuff. 20 shots fired, 12 hits. So artillery don't really hit that often, um, but they don't need to. They do have splash damage. They kind of need to hit the area of the vehicle to be able to do damage with most artillery. 17 splash damage, as you can see. It's like, I guess, most of them uh, were just splash, splash damage. Uh, hits 3,700 damage, 2.7k from distance of more than 300 meters, and that actually tells us that Dimis did 1,000 damage from less than 300 meters, which is not the artillery range. Okay, the RT is used to firing outside of the render range, not just the V range, but the render range. So the fact that they actually did 1,000 damage um, from less than 300 meters, that is really impressive. Nine of the enemy vehicles damaged, seven of these were destroyed, 610 damage caused with stun, 13 stuns caused, 90 defense points, and 1.29 kilometers driven, which like I said you can do with the 15551, this is very mobile, that's 60 kilometers an hour top speed, is definitely very impressive uh, for artillery. So, actually getting a little bit of credits over here, with premium consumables, um, no firing goal rounds very much, I mean, a couple of AP at the end, right? And the damaging shell against the AMX, but mostly regular stun rounds fired, and that means you get a lovely 4,000 credit profit, which is enough for the small consumable. <laughs> but yeah. 11 minutes, 45 second battle, good stuff over here, 3,826 experience earned, and 192 free XP. So yes, Dimis, 1987, lovely game over here, GG, well played. I mean, getting a Gauze medal these days is definitely um, a challenge, way more than it was before. A top gun with artillery is just insane as well, and just, just an overall incredible game with, I can't believe I'm still saying this, but the best. Tier 8 Tech Tree Tank in World of Tanks at the moment. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is it for this video. So, as usual, let me know in the comments what do you think about the 15551 and artillery in general? Do you actually think that the current version of artillery is better than the previous one? Did you even play the game when the previous artillery were roaming the battlefield? And yeah, let me know your thoughts, your opinions on. Whatever you like, right? And yeah, this is it for this video. Thank you so much for everyone for watching. You're awesome. Stay awesome. Stay safe. And hopefully I will see you all in the next video. Tata's people. Have a good one.